<laughs> You're doing it wrong. You got to bend over. Yeah, bend over. That was fun. Garbage. Like shake. Oh. oh. <laughs> so I'm uh, Martin Lemieux, and I run the Ringinator. Uh, it's a small product design shop in uh, Minneapolis. So I do projects for people. I mean, I've got my own projects. I sell my own machines. But for the most part, I just have fun. <laughs> I'm a ninth generation potter from Greece. So my family's been making stuff forever now. We moved to the United States in 96. Uh, so I came here, went to school, did all that stuff. But pottery, I don't know. I was always more attracted to metal. <laughs> so originally I started making chain mail. And for anyone that's tried it or seen videos on how to do it, you take a lot of little rings and make, put them together. And to buy those little rings is really expensive. To make them, it's really hard. So I came up with this cool little, it's like a miniature table saw that people use to make a lot of these jump rings really quickly and very, very cheap. So you can make enough rings for a shirt in an afternoon. So I made one for myself. I started tinkering around my basement. I posted some pictures on the internet and then people said, hey, can you make me one? So I had a buddy that had a small machine shop and he made me like the first 10. That worked okay, they sold. Had another place, maybe another 25. But it's like every time it was, something was off, something was wrong. They had to be redone two or three times. So eventually I discovered the Tormox and I just decided like, hey, if you want something done right, do it yourself. And then I started making these machines using the Tormach. Oh, okay. So in order to make the chainmail rings, you start off with long springs. So, so my tool takes these springs, these long coils, and cuts them down into the individual little jump rings. On the making aspect, I mean, everything's always been do it yourself. Like I grew up in an environment where, I mean, you'd make it yourself. So for the making part, it's just, I don't know, it's something that I've always done. It's like I see a problem for, for something and I come up with a solution for it. <laughs> That's where the uh, Tormach is really nice because you've got the whole user community. So if you have a question, it's like, yeah, you can call up tech support and talk to you guys or whatever. But at the same time, there's also the community that's like, hey, I've had that problem happen to me. This is how I fixed it. And just searching through the forum posts, you can find so many obscure solutions for like the weirdest of problems. Check out the shinies. <laughs> okay, so this was one of my first scale shirts. This uh, I made back, I don't know, 2003 or five. Took about 120 hours of work. And it is all individual fishing lure spinner blades that are all held together with uh, miniature keychain rings. So the spinner blades were all custom ordered from a manufacturer uh, in Wisconsin, actually. And then I assembled them over a period of about a couple months. But it's chain mail, it's fun stuff. And uh, you know, zombies can't chew through metal. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, that's funny. So this is my latest project. It's a little mold for people that do uh, their own hunting or uh, fishing. So it's a two-part piece so you can uh, cast your own pellets. But making this thing, I discovered another really cool product that I'm gonna go with, and that's the 360 degree hinge. So when making this, I needed to find a hinge that was fireproof because I'm pouring liquid metal into this. At the same time, it shouldn't have zero slop because you don't wanna have a little parting line in the center and you don't want liquid metal to get everywhere. So I went online, spent about a thousand bucks buying every tiny little hinge I could find, I could get my hands on. Still got them sitting in the bin over there, and none of them worked. Like I found some great ones, but they're plastic, and that's just gonna melt. So I had to come up with my own design. And I'm gonna start selling those as well for like cabinet makers or other machine makers, just because you need a hinge that can do full 360, well, with the handle in the way. But you can do 270, 180, 90, everything in between. So that's another little project I'm working on. Well, with this machine, since I've had it for so long, this is like, I think the series one, it's like serial number like 102 or something. 
It's like really one of the first ones. So I still got the Mach 3 software with Sprutcam and Alibre on there. So I mean, I've got a working software stack that I know how it works and all my stuff's already on there. So like if I need to re-replicate something that I've made in the last couple years, I can pull it up and I know it's gonna work. So I've seen all the really cool stuff that people are doing with Fusion 360 though. And so we have that set up on the other Tormach machine. So like side by side with Pathpilot. Well, I mean, we had fun uh, last week because we upgraded it to the latest Pathpilot version. Uh, I got this random dongle in the mail from you guys. <laughs> so it's like, which is pretty cool. It just, you can actually upgrade it with USB. So it's kind of neat. But I mean, the great one is I, I made a couple criticisms of the Pathpilot and it's like, they're fixed. The new, the new version that you guys put out, it's like, it has that and even more. 